Hi, it's Tessa, and I'm here today because I want to start a new series on my channel. And Oh, my ear is itchy. Um, I wasn't sure what to call it, but for right now, I'm going to call it Major Score or Leave at the Store. Because sometimes you just, you buy things, and you're like, this is going to be it. This is really going to work for me. And you get it home, and it's such a dud. It doesn't work for you at all. You spent money on it. You may have waited to try it too long and then you can't return it, um, or you try it right away and you are able to return it. It all depends on the situation. For some reason, us girls just like to try new things. Um, like you're not ever satisfied with the products that you have that work for you. You have to try to find something else. So this is the series, major score or leave it at the store. And the first thing I'm going to start with today is the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation, and this is in 312 Classic Ivory. Um, where to start with this? It's full. I tried it twice, and I waited too long to try it, so it can't go back to the store, but believe me, if I could take it back, I would. This does not work for me. Um, I don't mind the packaging. I don't mind the glass bottle. I don't mind that it's runny. I don't even mind that the top is teeny weeny and you can hardly get the product out, but just a little bit. I'll show you. Like that. It is really, really runny. I'm not taking it back. I'm just gonna, so I can dump it all over my hand. So you can pour it out. And when I turn my hand over, you'll be able to see just how runny it is. It's like water. Um, I don't have a complaint about any of that. I mean, could it be better packaging? I'm not sure because it's so runny. Would a pump work? Probably not. Um, it says to apply it with your fingers, to shake it well. Okay, I did all that. But I have normal to dry skin. And this clings to my dry patches so bad. And if you were to look at my face, like up close, my camera's not going to pick it up. But you cannot see any dry skin on my face. It's not like it's dry and it has these patches and it doesn't look like I exfoliated. That's not the case at all. Um, but when I use certain foundations, and a good example of that is the Revlon Nearly Naked. It does the same thing that this one does. When you put it on, it is so drying that it just clings to these invisible patches. And once you put it on, and they're no longer invisible. And the thing about foundation is, this is how I feel about foundation. Foundation is one of the most important things you can put on your face. I mean, if you don't have a good foundation, any of your other products that you put over top of it aren't going to perform their best or look their best if it doesn't have a good base, then your foundation is your base. Um, another thing about this foundation is it doesn't have good coverage. It's very light coverage. And maybe if I had oilier skin, this may provide a more even skin tone, but my skin tone did not look even with this. And if you're gonna bother putting on a foundation or paying money for a foundation, one, it better have good coverage. It better even, at least even out your skin tone. Um, I'm not saying it has to be full on face mask of foundation, but it has to even out your skin tone. That's why you're putting foundation on. You're not putting foundation on your face so it's a moisturizer, you're putting it on so it does something. And if it doesn't do anything, you wasted your money because you could just put on moisturizer and be done with it. Um, so you want your foundation to do something. You want to give it your skin to have a good base to be able to apply your other products. Because like say you bought this L'Oreal foundation, it didn't provide you a good base and you had a MAC blush, which you paid $22 for and you go to put it on your cheeks well that's not going to perform well and it's a high-end product because your foundation wasn't any good so you have to take that into consideration if you don't have a good base your other products that you put on top of it aren't going to be their best because your base wasn't good so um, I know I'm going on a tangent but sometimes I just feel like I don't know, people often don't mention that, you know, because it's like your foundation is your foundation for the rest of your makeup, so it has to be good. And if this is already clinging to your dry patches, um, 
everything else is going to go on uneven. It's not going to look good. So, yeah. So, I don't like this foundation. Um, it may work for some people, but I don't see how you, even if it does go on smooth, if your skin is oiler, I don't see how this can provide any evenness because it's just, it doesn't have any coverage. I don't know. I prefer to leave this puppy at the store because it's $10 that I could have spent three more bucks and got my Revlon Colors today, which is a fabulous foundation. So I'm disappointed I bought this. Um, it's too late to take back, so I'm hoping I can give it to somebody that I know has oilier skin than me. It may work for them. So, all right, there's my little major score or leave it at the store. This one is a leave it at the store. All right, thanks for watching, and hopefully um, I'll be able to continue this series and that you like it. Thank you. Bye-bye.